Well, the grant awarded to Gonzaga and the city of Spokane is having a large impact on the Northeast Community Center. In January, the EPA awarded the university a $1.1 million grant, and now they're using those funds to improve air quality in recreational spaces, giving people a place to breathe clean air. Mary Sheridan visited the Northeast Community Center today to see the technology and how it's keeping Spokane residents safe. We service this neighborhood. These are our neighbors. These are our, our friends. The Northeast Community Center has often been described as a safe haven for residents in Spokane. But soon, the nonprofit will literally provide the community a breath of fresh air. And air quality sensors like the ones behind me help people at the Northeast Community Center judge what the air quality is outside and inside. New air quality filters and upgraded HVAC monitors will be up and running in the community center within the next two weeks, thanks to a grant called Smoke Ready Spokane. This grant is a partnership between the Gonzaga Climate Institute and the city of Spokane. And so again, the concept was to provide these, these, these safe havens, these smoke readiness centers, uh, resiliency centers that could help um, residents avoid um, potential harmful smoke. Facilities manager there Nick Bowcut showed me the new air quality air sensors, and what monitoring it? conditions you both indoors that. and outdoors. Absolutely. Filtration systems are currently being installed. Looking ahead, both Gonzaga Climate and the City of Spokane tell me that they want to build a wildfire smoke preparedness plan, which would give community centers guidelines to keep people safe during a wildfire related emergency. A City and Council member shared a concern with this center, plan on uh, Monday, worried it may draw the community. unhealthy population to these centers got kids in these locations you cannot be pushing you know folks experiencing homelessness into these locations and if that's the goal then I couldn't be more opposed to this we are following this plan closely if anything changes we'll report it reporting in Spokane Mary Sheridan 4 News Now